so. As I did with the other ones. Taking this bend out will probably be a little bit more work. The low ones, however, no problem. Okay, uh, the knife is not shaving sharp anymore. That's clear. And to be honest, I never tried to take a, a bend out. I don't know if I can bend it back. I would hate to cut myself. So don't try this at home. Try it in the woods. Okay, let's just focus on this area, the tip. No, cannot get it to shave, not with the hone. Not with the home, not with the stone, not with some foam. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Could, by all means go on the diamond side and then just finish up with the ceramic stone and uh, it will shave but as it is now it's shaving yeah uh, I could bring you in for for a close-up but I don't think that's necessary it's taking the hairs off oh well why not Disregard the part that has the <laughs> bend and from there down. See? This one's taking the hairs off. So, um, I would say still easier to sharpen than the Robust. All I have to do is take that bend out and I'm good to go. And while I'm there, my guess is I will put a keener edge angle on it, so I'll take the grind higher. I do like the knife, I do like the handle, I do like, uh, well, I don't like the looks of it so much, <laughs> but it's a practical knife. I'm gonna see if I can get the same edge angle as with the Robust, or yeah, with the Companion. Make it just as good as a slicer and put a nice micro bevel because micro bevels are good. Well, this is the proof for that. Even though it's a steeper edge angle, it bend. The companion didn't. And I think I kind of uh, hit the companion harder and threw more pieces of wood than the 746. So. Do I like the knife? Yes. Um, I should have done what I did with the Robust before I took it out in the woods. I took it on my Japanese Waterstone, cleaned the edge up, put a secondary micro bevel on it. I can only recommend that. And I think I'm 
almost 100% sure I wouldn't have gotten any bends in the edge. I hope you enjoy this little review test. Let's call it that. And uh, if there are any questions, if I get to it after I fix the edge, reprofile it, it's going to take me a while. But if I get to it, maybe I'll do an update video if enough people are interested. I wish you a great day, guys. Taking it on a diamond side. Why? I just couldn't help myself. Yep, feels good. And when I did this to my machete, uh, sharpen it with the DC4, I think Ron Gardner, was it? It was either him or the comment before him told me to wear gloves <laughs> I could save my fingertips and he's right okay bottom part shaving too uh, not as easy as the top If you were to put this stone down on a piece of wood and try as hard as you could to keep the angle at a constant, I think it could get a much better result much faster. But as it is, I don't really uh, want to do that. I like to hold the stone in my hand and get the feel for it like this. And we're good. I still have that roll in the middle. Other than that, it's, um, it's not as sharp as it was coming out. Or as sharp as I can get the companion. But it's completely doable for woodwork. Didn't even take that long. Oh, by the way, uh, the sheath, same as with the 511, it's crappy. I put a little paracord here and as an egg carry, sheath is crappy, but for the price of the knife, I don't think uh, it's a big issue.
thanks for staying with me so far <laughs> hope I didn't bore you and uh, as always I hope somebody finds this useful have a great day I just noticed that the handle split that probably happened when I hit on the back of the handle with my baton. So I don't think it happened while I was batoning the blade. I'm almost 100% uh, sure this is where it happened when I batoned the handle. So I would say that is completely my fault in any case. I don't think uh, you should this knife is meant for batoning. Um, my Carta handles, full exposed tang knives, yes. Um, but, however, this did not render the knife useless in any way. This knife will surely not be thrown away into the bin. <laughs> this, this knife is gonna get a lot of work done. And as for the bend in the blade, the roll, that one could have been prevented if I would have done what I do with basically all my two bevel edges, scandy edges. Before I take them out in the woods, I clean up the entire edge on my water stone and I put a secondary micro bevel on it. Um, makes them more resistant to exactly such things. You can probably see it. There is a bend in the blade. That I do not like.